Ken, which is working quite well here. Probably when you start, you're a little bit tight, so that first E doesn't have vibrato. Uh, you want to try that? Uh, Do you have any idea when that fourth finger doesn't want to vibrate, why it's blocked? What would you, if you, you're out on stage and you notice your hand feels a little tight, and it, what do you do? Is it because the other fingers are like blocking it a little bit? Exactly, yes. Mm -hmm. So which means what? That I should loosen my other fingers? <laughs> yeah. So. Most of the most of us, I mean, people even with tight hands, their hands usually feel better when they're vibrating, because vibrato actually can help loosen the hand. Right. So uh, there's different ways to cope on stage. You can sometimes just say, "I'm going to vibrate. I'm going to vibrate," and and it actually helps loosen up the hand. But look at what tightens the hand is when this bridge here is tight all the way across. So if you if all your fingers here are tight. Right now, this bridge is tight and it's hard to vibrate. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. So now, release the back of the hand. Right. So that's soft. Now you can vibrate. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. Good. And it does your your. I noticed when you were playing that uh, from some of the other things that you played that your fourth finger vibrato is kind of skinny. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so if you wanna. Loosen it up. I'm going to take your arm again. Feel like your finger is this long, right? And just feel that you're vibrating all the way from back here, and that this is one piece. Now you can get a lot more width out of the fourth finger, can't you? Mm -hmm. And instead of just that, it's like yeah. So sometimes, like if you break your wrist, now you break this line. Now it can't feel right because it, it only can come from here. No, only can, right. So you want to have a, a flat straight line back here. Actually, if you break your wrist this way, it's also hard. Oh. You, yeah? Right. yeah? So, feeling a lot of this, like this is the dog wagging the tail. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's good. That looks much freer in the hand already, right? Mm -hmm. And the back fingers are soft. Now, while you're doing that, just do that fourth finger. Now, tighten up your hand. See how it constricts the vibrato? Yeah. Yeah. So, um, so in slow motion, when you train your hand, what you want to be doing is you'll have vibrato and you have vibrato here too. Because now the fingers in the air have gone loose. Can you do that where you just vibrate back and forth? you don't release the non-playing fingers. Mm -hmm. right. okay. So now let's go to... You didn't vibrate that note either. <laughs> right? So all you have to do is release the back of the hand. <laughs> right. So now comes like big question. There's no way you can keep your finger back here on one and vibrate the G sharp, it's going to block it. Mm -hmm. So you do, you want to release it, but where are you going to put it? What's it going to do? Right? So maybe that's not good. No. Right? Yeah. So the idea is that it just has to be limp, but keep it around because you're going to need it again. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh.
like sort of where your elbow is. When you go up for the G sharp, you may not, just to make your fourth finger a little more comfortable. Try going for the G sharp by raising your elbow a little bit. Just release your first finger. That's such an expressive note. You want a nice, wide, ardent vibrato. Now your your the quality of your sound is starting to improve a lot. Let's go on. Right. So that shift mm -hmm. is pretty well. When you hit that low third finger here, you want to already have the trajectory straight up. So that you don't want to hit it this way, so that you have to oh, turn yeah. on your way up. So. Oh, you did some really good things here. Uh, because you were playing this note, and these fingers were loose. Let's go into variation one. Uh, oh, so... Should I try to, I should vibrate on this note, right? Except if I'm in that position, how do I? You're on the right track, right? Yeah, you don't <laughs> want to give up your vibrato. That's such a sweet and gracious upbeat. Right. You want to be able to sing that. Right. But I, so, but you're already my fingers thinking, are curved. It's are like you thinking, curved. already thinking about the high C sharp? Yeah. Don't think about it. Uh, just find a, a comfortable position for your hand. But I sure. have to change the position to be able to... Vibrate. Like I can't just stay. Right. In, that's so okay. you just discovered another important principle. Mm -hmm. So look at um, the the way you want to look at it is you find just find a comfortable place for E and vibrate it. Right. That's one hand position. Now find a comfortable place for C sharp. I right. actually put my fingers. Right. So watch my hand once. What it involves is a little bit of rolling. Mm -hmm. Right, so you if you try and play the two notes like that, right, right, then you can't, right? right? Yeah. So this is in a comfortable position, this is in a comfortable position, and there's just this little bit of adjustment, and even your elbow might move just a teeny little bit. Feel a little 